truck was twelve. Where did it go? Oh. Well, said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon the us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had, had but fit in her faith, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward, the people removed from Hazaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Haran. Numbers 13, verse 1 through 5. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel, of every tribe of their fathers, so ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Sharon. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. And these were their names of the tribe of Reuben. Shamua, the son of Zakor, of the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Hori, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Huh. Oh, I think I read too much. That's what these men are of the tribe of Issachar, uh, the son of Joseph. Of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshe, the son of Nim, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Elti, the son of Tarku, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gideon, the son of Odai. Of the tribe of Joseph, namely of the tribe of Manasseh, Yadi, the son of Susi, of the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Asher, Sethur, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, the son of uh, Bafsi, of the tribe of Gad, Burel, the son of Magi. So we just finished reading from Numbers chapter 12, and we started at verse 11, and we went to verse uh, 16. Then we started at Numbers chapter 13, and we started at verse 1, and uh, I will be picking up at verse 16 and take us to verse uh, 20. And it says, these are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And uh, Moses called Asia, the son of Nun, uh, Jehos, uh, and Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up this way southward, and go up into the mountain, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwell it therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, 
whether it be good or bad, and what cities uh, they be that they dwell in, whether it whether in tents or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not, and be he good, be he of good courage, and bring up the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> And I look at this, and I know we have heard the story and uh, about the spies. Where were the spies sent to? Huh? Where were they sent to, the spies? They were sent to the land of what? Of Canaan by Moses to spy out the land to see what he had to deal with and who he had to deal with. Um, the, the land of Canaan, uh, what was that land to Moses and the children of Israel? All right, not getting no answers from no one. That, the, that was the land that was promised to them by who? By God. They were promised that land. But before they go up to take the land, Moses decided to send uh, some spies to go and, you know, find out what was going on in the land. And... Um, how many spies did Moses send to go and spy out the land? How many? I wish someone would talk to me. All right? So, yes, but... Twelve. It, uh, yes, twelve spies were sent. And why twelve spies? Why? There were twelve sons of Israel. So there was one taken from each tribe so that they can go and spy out the lands. I'm not going to try to call the names of these spies, but one thing we must realize that God has a reason to allow different things to happen. And uh, that's what God allowed Moses to do. But I know my time is almost up and we have a continuation of a story from yesterday. All right? And the continuation is that, do you all remember the name Miriam? All right? Yes, everybody Miriam. Not everybody. Some people remember the name Miriam. And we established that Miriam was whose sister? Was Aaron and Moses' sister. And uh, why did Miriam became white as a leper? Because she was criticizing Moses for marrying uh, an Ethiopian. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I am saying that because sometimes we find ourselves criticizing others. It could be detrimental. And who had to... Huh? We find ourselves criticizing the pastor. A lot. A lot. Yes, uh, well, they criticize the pastor, they criticize me too. So, uh, I, I mean, what am I going to do? 
I just have to pray and ask God to help them to do the right thing. But Mo Moses, who, as a matter of fact, who had to ask God to clear the leprosy up? Moses. The same one who Aaron and Miriam was criticizing. Uh, but I all... Huh? You know, that's the question I was, you must have been looking in my brain. That's the question I was about to ask, you know, why they treat the ladies so much like that? Because both of them should have been struck down with, because they, they conspired, you know, together and, and, and come up with the idea to go and confront Moses. But yet Miriam was the one that got struck down. But we, we can ask God that question when we go to heaven. But help us, Lord, not to criticize so much. You know what I'm saying? But to pray for people. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, man. All right, go right ahead. <laughs> 
syrup with cinnamon. Put some ginger syrup with cinnamon. Contains a drying effect that acts on the respiratory tract and the lining of the um, lungs to get rid of the cough. Ginger is the first home remedy that will come into our mind whenever we think about cough. Wow. Hot, show hot showers. Hot showers provide relief from cold or respiratory symptoms. Standing in a hot shower with, with a steam will help to alleviate your cough or loosen the phlegm. To take a hot bath or shower, then spent in the steam filled room will help to loosen and clear the mucus in the nose and throat. Humidify the air. No using a humidifier, we did talk about that already. Will um, help to moisten the air around you so that you can um, get rid of the mucus. It thins the mucus and so it will be able to be expelled more easily. So over the counter medication, you can get some over the counter medication or you can apply a warm compress to your chest your apply warm compress another way to combat the irritating effect of breathing in dry air and use the compress apply it over your face and neck and even your chest aromatherapy taking a, a advantage of aromatherapy by adding a few drops of eucalyptus oil the hot water and inhaling the vapors will help. Avoid acid food, acidic food. Maybe um, it may be best to take probiotic supplements in addition to eating probiotic rich food. All right, coughing, coughing is an is an important reflex that helps protect your airway and lungs against irritants. The cough of the stuff and expel it. Worse, and worse. You know, when you do all these things, you can loosen the um the mucus due to the phlegm so you can cough it up. Excuse me, what did you say? I said mercy, coughing. I don't like to cough. When you have to cough up the stuff when you see your it's your lungs, that's the only way you're gonna you, you do all these things, moisten, moisten the cup and then cough it up and, and expect to it, spit it out. Yes, I, 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 do, I do that, but I'm just saying, sometimes coughing is so irritating. You don't like to cough. Okay. Um, additionally, a drink, drink um, like hot tea might be soothing if, you're, if you've been coughing due to chest congestion. So when you drink some hot tea, you can, um, that will help. Okay, I think that is enough for now. Praise the Lord. So we just uh, learned about uh, different ways to combat congestion. All right. Main thing is ginger, you say, right? <laughs> When you think about the main thing that comes to your mind is ginger. It's ginger. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for being with us since we started up to this time, Father. Now we are going to live from Egypt. God protect Egypt. Protect our families. Bless those who are sick. Yes. I pray those who are sick at home and even at home. Father, heal them. I pray this should prayer to Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. All right. Terry, you want to pray? Terry, you want to pray? Yes. Go ahead. Yes, Our Father, watching heaven, we thank you for this time. 
we thank you for being with us as we started this group until now. As we are going to finish, be with us and give us a good health. I pray this prayer be live in Jesus' name. Amen. With Joshua? Yes, let us believe for the prayer of our Father who was in heaven. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for allowing us to live this, this day, O oh Lord. Thank you for what we have learned today, O oh Lord. Be with us through the, to, through the day. Be with us, O oh Lord, until we meet more. I pray and trust in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and believe. Amen. Jacob? Uh, dear Father, we thank you for this time. We appreciate for what has done. Be with us, be humble. You will do goodness and our life. Hey man, praise the Lord. Let the words of our mouths, meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Psalms 1914. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Love y'all. God bless.